Starter First Class V here, back with another GCSS Army video. And today we're on part 12 of our series on my workspace. All right, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to actually view all of your outstanding dispatches um, that are currently open. All right, so from there you're able to actually close your dispatches, put in your mileage, your fuel consumptions, your oil, and so forth. All right, so you can close it all out from there, including the notification. But today's video, I'm just going to show you actually how to pull the data. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit that bell, be notified when my other videos have dropped. Um, so let's jump into it. Come on. All right, so I'm going to show you guys eventually how to create the um, URL or create the favors in actual the SAP GUI easy access menu with all your T codes. OK, so the next video that we do, I'm going to show you guys how to create the actual uh, favorite. So all you're going to do is you're going to go into. My workspace. Now, if you've watched the previous videos, we've already done our dispatching. So what we're going to do is go to dispatch and see this right here so you of course you can you can search for whatever right you don't have to though so all you're going to do is click show open dispatches only right you're going to execute and it's going to show you all of the open dispatches now if you look a lot of these are overdue these have not been closed out however I do got one in front of me that we are going to close out and that's headquarters five. OK, so when you close these out, like I said, you can update the mileage, the uh, oil consumption, the fuel, and you're also going to close the notification for it. So if you look here, it's going to just tell you. Um, let me pull this up real fast. I'm trying to get rid of this. I don't know what's going on? So it's going to show you the notification, the status, the approval, description, the start end date, the primary uh, operator. All you can do is click it. So the mileage they have on their dispatch is 3295. All right. And they used a total of saying seven gallons of fuel, which that doesn't sound right because they only went like 15 miles. But that's what they wrote, so that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to say no for the oil because there's nothing on there. So once you're there, right, all you're going to do is submit. Now, so just in case you do have an operator that happens to lose their dispatching, you're actually able to print it right from here. You can reprint the dispatch and print the maintenance inspection worksheet right from here. All right. So I'm just going to submit and close this out. Complete dispatch notification. Notification has successfully been completed. And if you notice, it's gone. So if the notification is gone. The mileage is updated. The oil consumption is updated. I mean, I'm sorry, the fuel consumption, no oil was updated. But that is how you actually pull your overdue or outstanding dispatches. It's pretty easy. Just hit search. And it's going to pull everything up for you, all right? Well, I didn't hit the button. It's going to pull everything that's available or so forth. But like I said, just hit this button here. Search and it's going to pull all your overdue dispatches. Now I'm I've read that in the near future they're going to make a uh, a way to export this. So I know like for my unit on Fridays we send a overdue dispatch report to the battalion XO and he views it and no one goes home. So those dispatches and stuff are closed out and mileage is updated. So like I said, just make sure you're operating under your uh, your own individual uh, SOP and uh, hope this video was helpful. We have one more video in this series um, where I'm going to show you guys how to actually create the favorites in in uh, inside my workplace. So as always, go ordinance. Thank you.